Don't mind me, I'm just making up a roof for today's recipe. You've seen me do this before, just your basic margarine and uh, flour. I think that's done, yes. Anyway, today's a bit different to most white sauces I've shown you before. Today's recipe is a new one on me, and I might mispronounce this. It's called Kromskis or Kromskis or however you want to pronounce that. Now we've made our roux. And instead of milk, we're going to add a bit of stock. Now that's basically a stock cube mixed with a bit of warm water and let allow to cool down. So we'll start to pour that in. And we'll turn our roux to, back to the heat. Now for roughly for this recipe, you're going to need a room, which I've shown you. You're going to need some stock. You're going to need some meat, minced meat. That's already pre-cooked. Uh, what else? We're going to need oh yeah, our usual salt and pepper, some bacon, cut some butter, which I'll show you how to make later, and your deep fat fryer. Right, here we go. So, more stock. Right, what you're looking for is a sort of smooth and thick mixture. Don't worry if you run out of stock, you can always top it with, up with a bit of water as well. Now what you're going to do is you're going to add your meat. Now we've used about 500 grams here. I mean the old recipe could for about 6 or 8 ounces but this should be more than enough. You just add that in. And of course you want your old friends. Salt. And pepper. And now we're going to stir this all in. That's probably my phone telling me it needs charging. Okay, and once that's done, you just need to pour this onto a tray and let it cool down. Alright, while we're waiting for our meat to cool, I'm going to show you how to do a Robbie's Kitchen coating batter. Basic ingredients of coating batter, flour, water. You'd get mixed results. But for Robbie's coating batter, we're going to put about three tablespoons of flour. A bit of cayenne pepper to give it a bit of extra taste. Clearly, we need to get more cayenne pepper. Have some 
I was making note of that. But we went to prepare as well just to give it an extra kick. And instead of the ordinary water, what we're going to do is going to get a bottle of sparkling water. You can very carefully open it because it is carbonated water, which is mostly gas. I'm going to pour this into our flour mix flour. Now the reason I'm using carbonated water is if you remember when we did the Welsh rare bit, we noticed that the frothiness of the beer gave an extra bite to the cheese. My theory is if we do the same with carbonated water and flour, then it will cause the uh, batter to bubble up and really do that nice sharp bite. That's the theory anyway. Stir this in. So we get a nice smooth mixture. And one thing you will learn with Robbie's Kitchen is I tend to love my spices. You know, ginger, cumin, hay and pepper. Take more water with it. Send me a postcard next time. And that is your coating butter, which we'll be using once the meat has cooled down. Okay, now that our meat's cooled down, we're going to cover our hands in flour. I'm going to pick up some more of our meat. Form it to a nice little ball. Got a bacon. I'm going to roll this up in the bacon. See so when it all goes according to plan. Which, and then I'm going to pop that. I'll put another hole on just to make sure we have got this covered. It didn't go. I'm going to pop this into coating batter, make sure it gets fully coated. And we're going to pop this into a deep fat fryer. Now you want the highest possible setting for your deep fat fryer, because you're working with batter. Now that they're cooked, what you want to do is shake, shake off the excess oil. Hopefully just Turn them out onto a plate. Hopefully, just turn them out onto. Well, I knew these things never work in Robbie's kitchen. Let me just get a uh, fork. Yeah, can you hold that for a second, please? Thank you. Right. Sorry about that. We uh, had a bit of a struggle getting the last one at the deep fat fire. Now. The old recipe book said to serve them with a bit of ketchup or brown sauce. Yeah, I am hanging with a bit of chilli sauce. I'm strange like that. So, let's have a quick taste of this, shall we? Mmm. 
bit of the batter and mince and the bacon. You may need a knife. I'm definitely having one of them days today. I've been defeated by a food yet, they you won't be the first. Right, okay. As I said, I've got a bit of batter, I've got a bit of mincemeat here. I'm fighting to get a bit of bacon. Right, okay, there we go. Mmm, mmm. It's unusual in taste. Um mm. don't think I've ever had better with bacon before it's, I was right about having the carbonated sp sparkling water, it really does go that bubbly sort of mm texture. Mm. I've been Nobby Yates. This has been my kitchen. I'll see you tomorrow. Look after yourself. Take care. God bless. <laughs>